All right, welcome back to the show. We are joined by Miss Olympia, two-time Fitness Olympia champion, Whitney Jones, and the Arnold Classic Miss International Fitness winner, and of course, your voice of professional bodybuilding, Bob Chicarilla. We are talking mm -hmm. about the Miss Fitness Olympia championships coming up here in Las Vegas, December the yes. 17th to the 20th at the all-new Planet Hollywood and Miss Jones. Yes. How you feeling? Feeling good. We are I'm a ways, ready. We are a ways away here in your hometown of Arizona. Yeah. And uh, we've already saw a couple of your competitors yes. uh, in here. We saw Adela Garcia coming back off the comeback and Oksana yeah. Grishina jumping out of retirement. And they want what belongs to you. Bob, you never got one of these. No, yeah. you don't. This is what it's all about. Yeah. This is what the fuss is all about. It is. Big fuss. Big uh, fuss. I know you're a mother and have children, but how, how precious is this little baby? It's another child. It's yeah. another. you got to mm. take care of it. This is the end goal. This one is why two. you started. Yes, one of two. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you have books and, uh, or anything? Or? You know, no, because I have the third one, a spot uh, reserved right, right oh, now. For this know, year. For this year, 2020, baby. That sounds yeah. like some, some I, smack talk. I'll tell you yeah. what I like about the girls, okay? <laughs> as close as you guys are. Mm -hmm. it, it's still business, man. It's it's oh, it's yeah, on it's when a it's uh, you guys. You help each other. You support each other. Some Absolutely, of you, you yeah. guys actually work on routines for each other. Yeah. But when it comes time to the actual business of getting it done on stage, oh yeah, it's every woman for herself. You got to bring it. I mean, the thing is, it's not us deciding. Right. It's in True. the judges' hands. So absolutely. I mean, we support each other. We know how hard our division is. It's not easy in any regard. Yeah, We're no. all dealing with injuries. Right. So absolutely. It, it's it, but it's know, Sean, time. And it's a great attitude because at the end of the day, and we've both known athletes over the years that got mad at other athletes right. for oh, yeah. placing ahead of them. It's like, well, you're not judging. Yeah, I was yeah. one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I so. was that guy that was pissed off. But yeah. that being said, you know who your competition is. You're going right. up against two of the all-time greats yes. in the fitness industry, but you've been holding tight to that trophy right there. How mm -hmm. important is it for you to defend it and put these two to bed once and for all? Well, it's always that kind of, it's funny because once they announced they were coming out of retirement, first of all, I will say I was stoked, yeah. <laughs> so excited, because I like competition. Mm -hmm. and were you to surprised? Be, not totally, because no. I kind of got a feeling some stuff was coming down, and I was hoping, mm -hmm. because I've only competed on the stage with Adela once, and right. then was fortunate with Oksana to compete multiple times. Mm -hmm. But to have us all three, yeah. it's like a lot of times people say, oh, what if Kobe and Michael played together? Yeah, yeah, sure. So yeah. you're getting 14 titles on one stage between the three of us. That's amazing, yeah. the hype and the, the promotion of it. Like, we love it. Our fitness division is always looking for fans, and, sure. you know, it's that competitive spirit. And we all three have such different styles that you know it's going to be entertaining. Well, that's what I was going to lead to, because the styles are very different. So mm -hmm. will that change your approach going in? Because naturally, you've got some other competitors to contend sure. with as well. absolutely. Knowing these two ladies as well as you do, studying them in the past, competing with them, is that going to change how you approach this year's competition? No. Um, for me personally, like my style is different. I, I feel like I am the explosive, like the high energy. I do the break dancing, b-boy stuff. So mm -hmm. it's a different style. That's what I love. Right. I'm fortunate that it's been rewarded because um, it would kind of be a shame if you have this style that you're just so passionate about, but it just doesn't work well on stage, mm -hmm. but I've been working on some crazy new stuff, um, yeah, sure. all within the same realm, but I stick true to who I am, yep. um, again, primarily because that's what, it's easy to perform if you love it. Mm -hmm. If I was trying to perform a routine or skills, it's not like something I love, it's not gonna come across. And the energy, it will be felt. So right. I stick true to what's worked mm -hmm. and um, just bring in some new stuff. Every year there's always one or two crazy new unconventional skills that I bring out and display on the big stages. So there's some things in the works. Very nice. Uh, looking forward to that, of course. We, we talk about the big three, and that's what you're going to hear from now until the Olympia. Yep. With yourself, Adela, and Oksana mm -hmm. both coming back. Um, let's take them out for a second. Okay. Um, who is the biggest competitor you see coming up out of the the new batch, you know, we'll, we'll yeah. call them. Uh, there's some good young talent in there. For sure. Uh, I've seen Ariel Cadell is one of, one of my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she brings some energy. Uh, yes. Uh, Missy Truscott, mm -hmm. I think it's Truscott now, right? She got uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so you got her in there, and she did very well this uh, this past year. So who do you see as, as a number one contender aside from the, the other uh, two Olympians? 
it's hard not to say Missy. I mean, she just won the Arnold. Yep, so yep. that's, and she rightfully so well deserved. She's a phenomenal athlete, her energy on stage, her physique. So I would say for sure, Missy. And then again, Ariel, love her. You got Darian, who's back in the yep. game. She's in the mix. Jacqueline Baker, who placed in Olympia as well. Yep. So it's not just the three no, champs but- coming back because, yeah, all of those athletes are like, Oh, yeah? I'm going to step on stage with these 14 titles and <laughs> take it well, over. I, I'm sure they're not looking forward to the return of yeah. the other two, let alone right. yourself. But, but listen, all's fair in, in love and war when yeah. it comes to, to competition in the IFBB, and especially when it comes to the Olympia stage, Sean. Right, and I don't want to beat a dead horse because some of the people don't realize what you had to overcome injury-wise. Yes. It's one thing to come out there, do your bebop, hip-hop, flips, and all that other stuff, but the injuries that you've had to deal with yeah. and still wind up in the victory circle – Tell us a little bit about that, because there's some people that don't know what you had to go through to hold on to this title. Um, I will say, um, and I don't talk about my injuries a ton. That's what I I'm do here for. After, <laughs> exactly, right? Well, I'm pulling it I, out of you. Yes. Let's I do it. after the fact. I don't yeah. mind, because I think it's an opportunity, a teaching lesson to say, don't let it define you. Don't let it set you back. Find a way to overcome, if it's possible. And now, you have granted. in spades. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have not stepped on the Olympia stage without an injury, right. believe it or not, <laughs> from broken ribs to a uh, neck injury to torn labrum, rotator cuff, ACL, MCL. Wow. Uh, it's always something. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, you work with what body parts work and you find a way as, as athletes in our division. You've got a lot of different skill sets and a lot of the stuff I do is completely unconventional. Sure. These injuries, so. they're not coming from training with the weights. They're coming from the actual performance of yes. the mm-hmm. acrobatic routines that you do. Yes, and I mean like last year when I tore my shoulder, that came from <laughs> lifting the wood lid off my ice bath. Yeah, as honest. silly and dumb as that was, <laughs> yeah. I heard the pop, I was like, oh. no! but. Yeah, it was after routine practice. But wow. yes, most of my major injuries have been from the fitness skills. You know, which is amazing because out of everybody I know of all the years, most of the injuries were not in the gym. Yeah. I know bodybuilders who've torn muscles, uh, yeah. you know, who've, uh, you know, back injuries. I mean, I did it myself years ago. I, you know, I, I completely uh, tore out a uh, uh, my L4, L5 and was playing Ooh. baseball. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so you could squat a million pounds, leg yeah. press, all the, all the crazy stuff that we do. Uh, but I, I know guys who are you know, bending over, picking up the, their car keys. And How about Branch Warren slipping on the Branch Warren yes. and slipping on the pavement? Yeah, tore a know. quadricep. Um, it's interesting because it's it's the gym is very controlled. Sure. Now, and I know it's a little different for you guys because right. obviously the tumbling, the passes, that the strength moves. So in your case, mm-hmm. do the injuries dictate their, their routine, or does the routine dictate the injuries? For me, the injuries dictate the routine really? because okay. I have to work within my limitations. So you know it's. Um, the Arnold Classic that I had in 2018, I was coming back from my neck injury, right. and I didn't have full use of my right arm yet. Mm-hmm. It was probably 75%, but then when I blew out my ACL four <laughs> weeks out, it was yeah. like, great, oh. the right side of my body's not great. So my injuries always dictate what skills. So it yeah. was like, okay, well, I couldn't do 90% of my routine. I had to scratch the whole routine four weeks out and come up with I was just going to say, that's going to kind of mess you up when you've been doing a certain routine. Now, this is all to uh, music, which is very specific. Yes. You know, and you guys... The audience doesn't know what the routine is. Yeah. Yeah. But to your uh, point, you got a whole routine that's been practiced, that's been done, the music's been done, whatever, for months. And all of a sudden, you get an injury two weeks out. Yeah. It's got to throw the entire thing off. So do you... Do you mix it and try to make it work with the music you got, or do you actually have to go in and redo everything? I kept my music because I loved it, and it fired me up. And that's for me, that's half the battle. If I got the music and the energy, like I'll bring it. So I just had to scratch the whole routine. And I put my metal knee brace on and just started playing. It was the day after I tore it. I got the brace from my surgeon and said, just give me something. I got to see what I can do. And I literally brought out my list of tricks. And I went, nope, nope, nope. I can do that one. And you just, it was recreating it. And just throwing it together. It was awesome. First place. I know Oksana Grishina coming back actually got injured yeah. in this whole COVID and the postponement of the show is actually working towards her favor yeah. in the recovery process. But let's get to the brass tacks. Oksana Grishina, what yeah. do you got to do to keep her at bay? One of the greatest aerialists in the sport, very yep. creative mm-hmm. with her Michael Jackson routine and Fatima yeah. the Opera routines. What is it that you've got to do to keep her at bay? Is it you've got to elevate your game? Or are you hoping that she's going to be slightly off? I mean, I, I don't ever wait. Like, I want the level of competition to be sure. up. up here because mm-hmm. the goal is to win. So 
I don't want to win on an asterisk, like, oh, well, this person was injured. Sure. No, you no, don't want to yeah. go in and just win. So I, I hope she's completely healthy or to the best of all of our ability. Okay. Uh, and it just it makes you level up. Adela? She has a different style, so yeah. she brings her best. I'll bring mine. Um, you never know what's going to happen. You can practice the perfect routine for months. Doesn't matter, you got one chance when it counts, and if you can't deliver, you have mistakes. Well, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you think the challenges are gonna be for Adela? Me and Bob just interviewed her earlier. Mm -hmm. Coming out of retirement, it's been several years since she's been there. Yeah. Eight titles. Hers is more of a dance, salsa style. We'll expect mm -hmm. that from her. Some, probably she won't reinvent the wheel. Sure. But with her, what challenges is she gonna wind up facing having that? long of a layoff coming back? Will she maybe get some cold feet up there, stage fright? You know, um, I think for her, because she always is in great shape. I mean, she's, yep. a, she's a true champ and she, she stays true to it. It's not like she retired and then she just was like, yeah, I'm done with it. So she has, and she's developed a lot of new talents and okay. new skills. Yeah. So you might see something different. I, I kind of think maybe she hmm. might have a different style. But I think honestly for her, um, maybe it's more of a mental challenge because things have changed so much with her being gone right. and it's a new crop of girls. But we were just talking earlier, Oksana and I with her and it's like, things are different but like, again, we are a family and we're supportive and I just hope that she feels welcome back to the stage and it's an amazing experience for her mm -hmm. because for her to come back, that's not easy. I mean, that's to throw your hat in the ring and be like, all right, I've been away for a while, but I have the confidence yeah. to come back. Yeah. I think mentally, it's gonna that's the biggest challenge she's probably gonna face. The reason I brought that up, Bob, is because we were talking about Kevin Lavroni coming back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the all-time greats. Uh, yeah. Lou Ferrigno, 17 years yeah. away. Uh, for the men bodybuilders, it hasn't been a pleasant experience because yeah. of because of the advancement of the sport. Correct. So that's why I asked you. Yeah. I mean, what what is she going to be coming back to? I mean, well, on that note, Sean, there's an old expression in bodybuilding: there is no defense in bodybuilding. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about the other guy. You know, right. you come in on your best and all that. However, in fitness, uh, and this would be my question to you. Um, there can somewhat be a defense or an offense for mm -hmm. that matter. So you are well familiar with with both competitors. Sure. Okay, well again, mm -hmm. just talking about the top three, okay, yes. as we'll call you guys. Um, so you know what Oksana brings and you know what Adela brings. Mm -hmm. So do you, now knowing that, do you cater your routine? Like, like if you know, um, and I'm just making stuff up because you know neither one of us are experts on fitness, sure. but we know some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know that, that you know, to Adela's credit, her stuff mm -hmm. is more of a dance-oriented kind of a salsa-ish, and, and she's got some, but, but maybe she doesn't do a lot of strength moves. Sure. Or Oksana, again, very, I mean, her routines are phenomenal, they're mm -hmm. very entertaining, yes. but again, maybe there's things that she doesn't do. Mm -hmm. So do you target now, or you look and you go, well, wait a minute, knowing what I know about these two and what they bring, yeah. I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z to try to, to try to, you know what I mean? So is there an offense involved? I think to some extent, mm -hmm. you have to show that you, it's a level playing field. Sure. But you can't pull back too far from what you really are or what's mm -hmm. got you to that level. Right. So um, absolutely, I don't think there's anything wrong with having sprinklings yeah, of, sure. you know, really showing the good dancer side. Well, so that's, you can that's be part of with the Adela. Right? Yes. I mean. And then trying to show all your strength moves to be competitive with Oksana. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you change too much, I think that's a lot of risk. But hasn't the judging changed since Adela's been on the stage? I believe sure. they had the bikini Good round, question. right? Do yeah. they still have the bikini round for you guys? So they do. They still the have pros. that. Yes, yeah, at the, the pros amateurs. they do. Well, I mean, what what's changed for Adela coming back in the judging criteria for what you're doing that she wasn't? Well, so she, by the time she retired, they got rid of the one piece. The one piece. They were <laughs> done right. with that's that. Yes. Yeah. So, but that was towards the end right. of her career. Okay. So, I don't know. I mean, she spent so many years doing the four rounds, and then when it went to the three rounds of judging, and, and then now it's only two. And now it's just the well, two. Well, and to that, the judging has changed, uh, Sean, since she hung them up. Uh, because it's actually worth less now. So yeah. yes, they do the physique round, mm -hmm. but it's not worth as much as it was in, in her day when she was winning Olympias. Yeah, well, and also the routine's worth worth two thirds of, of yes. your score. Right. So mm -hmm. the, the emphasis has gone more on the on the physical portion and the, and the routine round. Yeah. That can help or hurt you depending on where her strength is. Let's say Adele used sure. to kick ass in the uh, in the physique rounds. Well, mm -hmm. that's only worth a third now. So yeah. that, can, that can hurt you, too. Well, and what's also changed, Bob, is the prize money, which is not yes. that bad. Yeah. Well. No, that's the, always amazing. The competitors, <laughs> which is actually getting much, much better. Yeah. Uh, so what happens if you go in the show 
um, injury free. Yeah. Uh, oh, are we expecting, what would that be? You don't right? even know what to do. Are we going to expect an all time best routine? <laughs> I mean, I imagine. You know, well, let's just say this year, I hope you see the all time best routine from me yeah, as okay. well as from um, all the athletes. But okay. yeah, I mean, if I was injury free, I just don't even know what that would even well, be. Like. Enlighten us a little bit about the other things you have going on because getting mm -hmm. ready for a show, that's easy. For a bodybuilder, we eat, sleep, and train. But for yes. the fitness mom, entrepreneur, Yes. champion. Give mm -hmm. us a day in the life on the way to the road to Miss Olympia. Gosh, um, so I'm up super, super early every morning. I start my day with fasting cardio. Um, so I'm always up by 5, 5.30. But I actually, I own five businesses, oh, which wow. is, Jeez. I'm just spread pretty thin. That's four um, more than we got. It's a yeah. lot of caffeine, a lot of coffee, you're <laughs> yeah. wide awake. It's a lot, yeah. your brain is we, constantly clearly we're under early. Clearly we're underachievers. I hear yes. you. <laughs> Well, you have a different so, title during the week, and that's, that's called mom. Right? Yes, and then I'm a mom, so I have two boys yeah. who are um, 11 and 14. So you got six businesses. Busy, busy, yes. <laughs> and then I, my dad, who's um, he's not in the best health. He has dementia, so I'm caring for him. So it's a lot of juggling, but it's you got to be organized. Yeah. So my <laughs> day so. starts super early, ends very, very late, and it never, ever, ever goes as planned. But you just roll with but it. But that seems to fit you, though. Like you're very yeah. for every, and we've known you for years. But mm -hmm. you know, you're very high strung. I mean, yeah. you, you are never. At, you know, I've never seen you actually just kind of chilling out, relaxing. I don't like, know how like, to do that. No, you don't. I mean, you're, you're always <laughs> on the move, true. and things are going, and you're talking, and you got, you know, you guys have a, bi a blast uh, at any show I've ever oh, seen. Oh, for sure. You know, you go, you would never think there's a, a competition or a, a medal at stake or a title. <laughs> They're back there having a blast. Well, I imagine that things <laughs> will slow down when this is all over. Which, with the mm -hmm. date being December the 17th to the 20th. Mm -hmm. Right in time for the holidays, for the new year. Hopefully, the COVID thing will be Let's hope. out of the way, and yeah. you'll be adding another trophy and a medal to your repertoire of awards. What does the end look like for you? Because I, Adela had mentioned that when she retired, she went through a small depression uh -huh. because she had this routine. Yep. I mean, if you, sure. how do how do you get out of this sport when you're at the top of it? Well, and see, I think for me, because you have to think about the end. Mm -hmm. You can't be on the stage forever. But I love the sport. I love the industry. So I own a gym. That's one of my main jobs here. Um, prep a lot of athletes. So we have a prep team. So I'll always be in it in that aspect. Okay. I also um, I have a show, MPC Whitney Jones Classic. Which that is when? November 14th, <laughs> Arizona, right before Olympia. No, nice. no pressure. There's not going to be anything water. going on. Yeah, right before the Olympia. <laughs> yes. Go ahead, Ann. <laughs> so, and then, of course, I love um, working with fitness athletes, doing the choreography, and I do a sponsorship every year to get amateur athletes on board who maybe financially would not ever be able to try this And how sport. do they get a hold of you? If I'm one of those athletes, I want to work with the great Whitney Jones, how do mm -hmm. I do that? Um, easiest way is Instagram, Whitney Jones underscore IFBB Pro. And whether they want to work with me or not, um, it doesn't even matter if you're fitness. I love helping to answer questions, motivate, inspire. Maybe someone's going through an injury. Maybe they're nervous. I always encourage people, reach out. And not just to me, but there's a lot of pros. People follow and you admire them. Sure. Ask them for advice. There's so many of us who really want to help yep. these younger athletes, or maybe someone who's just on the fence. They had a horrible experience. Maybe they um, their trainer didn't work out, and they think that that's the way the industry is. Whatever it is, I always encourage people reach out. Anyone that you idolize, try to start a dialogue. There's so many of us who want to give back and help the sport, help the athletes. Mm -hmm. So honestly. Um, you can find me Whitney jo fitwitjones.com. That's Fitwit. my website. Okay. Fitwit, okay. you know. <laughs> it's, but it's yeah, not, it sounds like a lot on the plate. Not to yes. mention, I know you want to add another one of these. <sighs> yes. To the collection. It, Let's see how this looks on yeah. your hair. Yeah. Ooh, close. you know. That right looks here. nice, Bob. What the do you think? Shine. What is, it what, looks good. What's on the it? over under? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We are Put in Vegas for down. Olympia, so they, there could be an over and under this year. We're going to find yes. out. Yes. You're the two-time defend and defending champ now, yes. so you're in a different position now as defending the title against Oksana, because mm -hmm. for years you were going against her as the champ. Yeah, for sure. And Adele, of course, who was star of the career a little bit before you, but then right. you kind of caught her at the end. Yep. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, how you handle it. You got to, you yeah. bought yourself an extra three months. I know, well, not crazy. yourself, but you yeah. know, with, with yeah. the changing of the, of the time. <laughs> um, 
How did that throw you guys off in terms of preps and stuff? Because honestly, it would only have been weeks away at this point. Sure. But now you got, like I said, you got a few extra months. So in your case, I can't imagine that didn't help you because I'm sure yes. there, was, there was an injury somewhere <laughs> there that was dreaded. That's what I said. I'm like, yeah. oh, great, three more months to stay injury yeah. free. So, Let's so, see so, if we something, can do this. something was bugging you, and it's like, oh, I hope this doesn't <laughs> snap, you know. So the level of playing field, I think they're all in the same boat with yep. this whole oh, yes. adjustment that we're making. And yeah. uh, thank goodness for the Olympia team being able to find a new venue yep. That's back what's on important. the street on the strip right yes. there in Las Vegas and right before the holidays. So. so I don't care that it got pushed back. I'm just glad it's still happening. You know, what's interesting is you know we talked about the Arnold and, and uh, you're a former Arnold Classic mm -hmm. winner. Um, and that was in front of thousands of fans and all that. Fitness yeah. is very fan oriented. You, you know, yes. you, you kind of feed off the crowd and you the energy. And the, yeah. It would be really weird if it you were would. at a show that they didn't have, you know, with all the COVID restriction stuff. Yeah. And there was no audience. Like, can you imagine really doing like weird. your, you know, Sean, like, can you imagine doing like your yeah. bread and butter shot like back in the day and there's just crickets out there? I, I got to imagine that what's, <laughs> what's, what's at stake, I think you go into this zone, right? I mean, yeah. you, you went into those zones to block out those injuries, to win the Arnold Classic mm -hmm. and the Mislim. I imagine at that level, Bob, it, it wouldn't matter if anyone was there. Yeah, you got to be ready. I mean, you, 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 you do practice in a gym with nobody around. Yes. So I mean, I guess it's you know, but you know, it's competition day. You're mm -hmm. psyched up. You know, you kind of feed on the you know the energy and, and, and fitness. Listen. If anything, that brings any energy. Yeah. And, and as MCs, we both know. I, I would start any show on this earth with fitness mm -hmm. because it kind of charges everybody up and it kind of gets everybody. Up. Yeah, wakes them up. Yeah. You know, you start with some of the bodybuilding. You know, and it's like the, the golf clap kind of. <laughs> You know, and you got to get people moving and all that stuff. But fitness, boom, brings the energy right yeah. off the bat. Kind of gets the show going, supercharges it. Dancing in the seat. Yeah, people yeah well, ready. Not, he can't dance. Well, I, you know, I can sing. But we're <laughs> going to find out how that all looks as we wind it down. And we're going to run right into December at the uh, Planet Hollywood on December the 17th to the 20th. Tickets available now at MrOlympia.com. This is going to be one for the ages. Check out Whitney Jones. Defend and try to conquer oh, some yeah. of the greatest fitness athletes in the world at this year's Miss Fitness Olympia. For Bob Chick, Whitney Jones, I'm Sean Ray.